sort of just piddling today. Uh, it's showing the outside temperature is 97 and I'm at a comfortable 81. So kind of doing a little bit of prep stuff still for the tractor show. So I needed a, uh, a mount for my magnetic camera holder that would fit the uh, uh, canopy bar. So this piece of conduit uh, pipes approximately the same size of the bar and I used a uh, what they call a hurricane tie and just whittled it down and got it to where a band clamp will uh, set on it. Uh, the other thing, my son found this. He said he found it. He didn't pay nothing for it. It's a little USB stereo FM audio power amplifier. I have no idea. It's got uh, treble bass power volume and uh, it's got the uh, aux inputs. I hooked it up to little speakers to see what it would do. It's got a 12 volt 2 amp wall wart which that'll probably be handy but the problem I have with this So uh, if I do turn it up higher then this speaker comes up but I cannot turn that speaker down so I think we're going to do a little uh, tear down on this just to see what's in it I can use this wall wart because I am charging some batteries right now so uh, yeah we're going to take this apart probably nothing in it that I can use other than this wall wart just something to piddle with thanks for watching Okay, so I opened it up. Interesting construction. Um, nothing really I can use. I might be able to use this uh, if I decide to build another stereo box. I'll probably use this and this. Uh, this will go in my parts box. But as I suspected, this is the on off volume. So if we just barely turn it on, that's where the right speaker is really loud. And these are just basically variable resistors. So if I measure one, I got a dead short on the other one. It's open. So apparently the one that's on a dead short is the one that doesn't turn down. So let me give it a little bit of turn and we'll measure the dead short side I got 0 0.016 and I'm on the 2 million ohm let's measure the other side and now it's a short or it's an open so yeah they should be reading the same now I'll go to the, the right side and we got 0 0.24 0 0.22 pretty close so yeah there's something shorted or open in other words that part's junk and that makes the whole thing junk so yeah it'll go in the parts box i'll keep the uh the wall wart though two amp at 12 volts so that might be something i could use to power my little dremels or whatever so yep this is going in the parts box there's some little push buttons but yeah the uh the volume control is bad on this just a quick tear down didn't cost anything and maybe got some usable parts out of it okay I was curious I got out my little drill master Dremel I actually use this quite a lot I uh, got three of them um, little wire brushes and everything great for cleaning up bolts but uh, this is the, uh, the transformer that comes with it 12 volts uh, 400 milliamps that's four tenths of an amp um, so we'll plug this in and so you can hear it running and it's spinning pretty good and if I stop it because this has a transformer in it so let's try the other one now so 
this says it's supposed to be two amps. I'm questioning that. It does run it. Sounds about the same. But if I stop it, apparently it's got like an overload. I do have another power supply, and these are switch mode. So it doesn't really give you a lot of... So, yeah, I mean, it'll work, but I prefer the one that you can actually stall it out with. So, anyhow, it's usable. It's always good to have one. So, I did get something useful out of it. Thanks for watching.